We know we're not going back. There's no, there's no playbook. There's no blueprint. There's none of that to this new environment. As we talk about, you know, the four pillars that you have to have investment in culture, people, skills, and accountability. If I could hang my hat on two things, I mean, obviously all four are very important. Number one is that clear investment, that very clear investment into, again, whether that's the culture, whether that's the personal development, giving people an opportunity on, on the company dime. I don't care if it's 15 to 30 minutes a month. If you can't invest 15 to 30 minutes in a month for someone to become better for themselves, how much do you really care about them as a person? And then skill set. I mean, we, we talk a lot, a lot of skills with effective communication, those type of things. And people do often what they do well. So if you're not creating space for people to sharpen and get better at the critical skills that matter in an organization, there has to be a clear investment in really all of, all of those pillars, but it could be one at a time, whatever that is most prior to you. But that fourth pillar is the second one that I would hang my hat on, accountability. This is where 90% of the stuff drops off the vine because, oh, we sent you to a training or expect you to just get it and also somehow magically you're gonna just adopt that and change your way of thinking. Well, we understand in schools, how long does it take you to you know, pass a, 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 a grade? An entire year on one subject. You have semesters, you have tests, you study for the various things, but somehow a two hour workshop supposed to change your thinking? It's the conditioning and accountability and follow through. Okay, I sent you to this workshop. What are three things you took away? What are you gonna implement the next 90 days? And hold people accountable to that. That's something that people have to start to reevaluate even in their annual reviews. Because if you just evaluate your people on the core skills without a clear, hey employee, what have you done to invest in the culture? What have you done? We put out this, this stuff on the plate for you to eat to be better you. What are you doing to become better for you and your family? What are you doing to become better in this space? And that has to play a part in how you're evaluating your employees because when they do those things and commit to those things, they come back better. A better them is better for the environment, the energy, the attitudes, and it coalesces back into the culture because a culture is nothing more than an aggregate of all the people that make it up. And so if there's not accountability to hold people to a standard of we expect you to be better, we're gonna invest in you to be better, but we expect you to pick it up, put it into practice, and do those type of things. When you have that, that becomes an organization that people know they're not gonna be complacent. They're not okay with just being here. The world's gonna to continue to change, but that's the organization that will always be ahead of the curve because it's filled with human beings committed to being better, better in their skills. They're gonna see these things, they're gonna to adapt to those things, but it has to have accountability. Otherwise, people will adapt to good enough, and it's not bad. That has to be a huge key component of being a successful organization.